According to the law of Moses, the baby must be circumcised on the eighth day. Joseph, the baby is about eight days old. Shall we? Yes, Mary. We need to have him circumcised. Let's go to Jerusalem tomorrow. I will prepare two young pigeons for the sacrifice. After the dedication, the priest asked the couple, What are you going to name this child? His name will be... Jesus. Jesus. That was the very name the angel had told them before the baby was conceived. At that time, there was a devout man in Jerusalem named Simeon. The Holy Spirit revealed to him that before he died, he would see the Messiah. When Joseph and Mary presented Jesus in the temple, Simeon held the baby, praised God, and declared, Lord God, now I can die in peace, for I have seen your salvation, a light revealed to the Gentiles, to all nations. He is the glory of Israel. Joseph and Mary were amazed at this revelation about Jesus. Then Simeon blessed them. Mary, Jesus has been sent by God, but during his life he will be opposed. He is destined to cause many Israelites to fail and be restored because hearts will be revealed by his words. A sword of sorrow will pierce your own heart. Then Anna, an elderly prophet, overheard Simeon. She'd only been married seven years when her husband died. Since then she lived in the temple and never left, worshiping God by praying and fasting day and night. When she heard Simeon's words and saw the baby Jesus, she started praising God. Oh Lord, thank you for this precious child. Then Anna told everyone who was waiting for God to redeem Jerusalem all about Jesus. Pause to consider the following questions. One, a hope fulfilled is a tree of life. How would Simeon recognize baby Jesus as the Messiah? How will you recognize God's promise being fulfilled in your life? Two, express your gratitude for the ways in which God works in your life. Pray and ask God to use those moments to continue shaping your spiritual journey.